Hello everyone, Mike here again with Madman Review. The National Shooting Sports Foundation's annual shooting, hunting, and outdoor trade show, more commonly known as SHOT Show, ran from the 17th to the 23rd of January. And this year, it has been a real blast. But then again, so were all previous SHOT Shows. Except SHOT Show 2021, which was a virtual event, and SHOT Show 2022, which was on a much smaller scale. SHOT Show 2023 was held in the Sands Expo Convention Center, a large expo hall in Vegas, and it was filled with anywhere from 50 to 60,000 people who visited a total of 24,000 booths set up by sellers of all sorts of firearms, ammo, accessories, hunting gear, and defensive equipment for manufacturers in the U.S. and all over the world. If you've been looking to carry a concealed handgun for a while and you didn't have a chance to go to SHOT Show 2023, I'll give you the lowdown on the newest CCW models this year. Without further ado, let's begin. Number 7. Rock Island Armory LI-380 This year, Rock Island Armory released three new pistol models, two of which are under their Baby Rock or BBR line of concealed carry semi-automatic pistols. The first one I'll talk about is the Rock Island Armory LI-380, which, as its name suggests, is chambered in 380 ACP. When I first saw this pistol, it reminded me of the Bursa Thunder 380, and when I checked the spec sheet, the two are very similar, such that the LI-380 can even accept Bursa Thunder 380 single-stack mags. This little pistol boasts fixed sights, comfortable ergonomics, and easy-to-handle recoil because of its all-metal construction. Not that the 380 ACP has a heavy recoil, but if you shoot 50 rounds of 380 ACP out of a lightweight micro-compact at the range, your hands will start feeling sore. That won't be the case with this LI-380. The LI-380 is a great option for concealed carry because as far as dimensions and weight, it has an overall length of 6.53 inches with a 3.55 inch barrel, and it only weighs 3.5 pounds. In addition, its frame has a black anodized finish with polymer grip panels that look a bit too utilitarian for my taste. Also, its slide and some of the small parts inside of it all have a durable parkourized finish, which gives it that no-nonsense workhorse feel. But I'm not complaining. After all, it has a rather low MSRP of only $299. Number 6. Taurus TX-22 Compact I'm personally not a fan of carrying a pistol and 22 long rifle for self-defense, but I do understand there are people who suffer from some medical condition and are unable to shoot anything remotely more powerful like the 380 ACP. If you're one of those people and the prospect of carrying a polymer-framed striker-fired pistol sounds appealing to you, and you find the Glock 44 a little too bulky, then Taurus's new 2023 pistol chambered in 22 long rifle might be for you. It has a 10-round and a 13-round mag capacity. The Taurus TX-22 Compact is the smaller cousin of the TX-22 full-size. Unlike its bigger predecessor, it has a 3.5-inch barrel, which gives it an overall length of only 6.7 inches. It is also 1.25-inch wide, 4.9-inches tall, and weighs only 16.5 ounces, making it a viable option for concealed carry self-defense. In addition, the Taurus TX-22 Compact has a smooth trigger pull with a crisp brake. The slide is a rear sight with serrations to cut glare and a high contrast white dot front sight for easy target acquisition. It also comes with slide cuts that accept Holo Sun K footprint optics and lightening cuts to reduce the total weight of the slide, ensuring reliability when you install an optic. And lastly, it has an accessory rail for mounting a flashlight or a laser. All of that for an MSRP of $400, which I'll have to say is a little too high for a Taurus pistol, especially for one chambered in a rimfire cartridge, but you do you. Number 5. Beretta ADX Cheetah If you're a Beretta fan, you're probably aware that the company's Model 80 Series Cheetah chambered in 380 ACP, while not the most popular model in their pistol lineup filled a tiny but very important niche in the concealed carry pistols market. When it was introduced in 1972, there just weren't a lot of other compact 380 ACP pistols with a double stack magazine with a 13 plus 1 capacity. But because there wasn't much of a demand for these pistols, they were always out of stock, to the point that Wikipedia says they were discontinued in 2017. The reality of it is the Cheetah was never discontinued. But Beretta USA only imported them in low quantities once a year. This year, a better version of their old Model 80 series just came out. Meet the Beretta ADX Cheetah. 
Beretta touts their new ADX Cheetah as a modern take on the old Model 80 series. It has better ergonomics designed for people with smaller hands thanks to its exchangeable Vertec grip panels and enhanced beaver tail that protects against slide bites, but it's still comfortable enough to shoot for people with larger hands. As far as dimensions, the ADX Cheetah isn't too different from all the original Cheetah Model 80 series pistols. Weighing in at 25 ounces, it has a barrel length of 3.9 inches, an overall length of 6.8 inches, an overall height of 4.9 inches, and a width of 1.06 inches. Its modern features include a frame-mounted ambidextrous safety, a reversible magazine release, a lightweight skeletonized hammer, and a trigger with an adjustable pull. All of these for a rather high MSRP of $799. But this is a Beretta pistol after all. Number 4, Rock Island Armory BBR 3.10 9mm The Rock Island Armory BBR 3.10 chambered in 9mm is the second concealed carry pistol introduced by Rock Island Armory at SHOT Show 2023. Besides its 9mm chambering, it's not much different from the company's original BBR chambered in 45 ACP. Both BBRs are officer-sized, double-stack 1911-style pistols with a really short 3.1-inch barrel. But because the 45 ACP cartridge has a heavier recoil than the 9mm, the original BBR 3.10 and 45 ACP needed a ported barrel to control the recoil. And since a ported barrel will only melt the fiber optic, the original BBR 3.10 had a blacked-out front sight. The new BBR 3.10 in 9mm doesn't need a ported barrel, so Rock Island Armory was able to add a fiber optic front sight to it. As far as dimensions, the BBR 3.10 in 9mm has an overall length of 6.85 inches, a width of 1.5 inches, and an overall height of 4.55 inches, which makes it a pretty good CCW option if you like to carry 1911-style pistols. It is all steel but has lightning cuts, so it only weighs in at 26 ounces. It ships with a 10-round mag but accepts any of Rock Island Armory's high-capacity 1911 mags. It has an advertised trigger pull of 5 to 7 pounds, which is kind of meh for a 1911 trigger, but it is for concealed carry, so it's okay. It has an MSRP of $699, not bad for a double-stack 1911. Number 3. Canik Mete MC9 Canik introduced its newest pistol under its Mete series of polymer-framed striker-fired semi-auto handguns. The new Mete MC9 is a high-capacity micro-compact pistol not much different from some of the most popular micro-compacts on the market today like the Sig P365 and the Springfield Hellcat. All micro-compacts are great for concealed carry, and in this regard, the Mete MC9 is no different from its competitors, though it does have some features that are only found in competing premium models. Chambered in 9mm, the Mete MC9 has two mags. The standard mag has a 12-round capacity and the extended mag has a 15-round capacity. It has a short 3.18-inch barrel, an overall length of only 6.1 inches, a height of 4.52 inches, and a width of only 1.12 inches. And weighing in at only 21.2 ounces, the MC9 is lighter than something like a Glock 26, even factoring in the two extra rounds using its standard mag. And to keep up with what has only recently become the trend of optics-ready micro-compacts, the MC9 has slide cuts from the factory, so it is optics-ready and capable of full co-witness out of the box. Along with the standard and extended mags I mentioned earlier, other things that come standard in the package when you purchase an MC9 are three different sizes of interchangeable backstraps, a speed loader, a pinky rest, a cleaning kit, and the company's easy disassembly tool called the Canic Punch. Finishes include black, FDE, and Dual Tone Black plus FDE, all this for a wallet-friendly MSRP of only $440. Number 2. Abidity Arms PD-10 Another polymer-framed striker-fired 9mm pistol, the PD-10 looks like a Glock 48 wannabe but has quite a story to tell. It's made entirely in the USA and was designed by veteran defensive firearms instructor Rob Pincus, who worked on it for eight years. It was a long journey before Avidity Arms announced its release at SHOT Show 2023. During its development, there were countless prototypes produced and distributed to hundreds of testers, defensive firearm students with varying levels of familiarity and competency. Each time a new prototype was released, it was an improved version of its previous iteration. All improvements made were driven by feedback and opinions of all testers. 
The PD-10's claim to fame is its durability. Unlike most run-of-the-mill production pistols on the market today, there isn't a single MIM part used in it. The barrel is made from 416R stainless steel, a type of steel that is highly sought after by rifle barrel manufacturers. In addition, the PD-10 has a cam block with front rails made from tool steel and a disconnector made from carbon steel. Pins made in-house that have 20 times much tighter tolerances than standard roll pins are used to hold the pistol together and ensure the trigger pull is consistent and predictable. With its 10 plus 1 capacity, 6.94 inch overall length with a 4 inch barrel, a width of 1 inch, a height of 5.14 inches, and a weight of 18.8 ounces, the PD-10 is a superb option for concealed carry. It has an MSRP of $599, but the optics ready variant costs $625. If you're considering a Glock 48 MOS, the PD-10 Optics Ready is slightly more expensive, but definitely a better deal. Number 1. Lionheart Industries Vulcan 9 And my top pick is the Vulcan 9, another pistol entirely made in the USA. It's an all-steel hammer-fired compact pistol with a flush-fitting mag that holds 15 rounds of 9mm. It has a ton of features that make it a perfect concealed carry pistol, some of which are its J-shaped trigger for more consistent trigger finger placement and its bobbed hammer for snag-free quick draws. There is a version that comes with a 4.3-inch threaded barrel, but we're only interested in the standard version Vulcan 9 with a barrel length of 3.7 inches, an overall length of 6.7 inches, a height of 5 inches without optics, and a slide width of 0.95 inch. It weighs 24 ounces unloaded, so it has some weight to it for better recoil management. It has angled front and rear slide serrations and an accessory rail for a flashlight or a laser. There are two things that make the Vulcan 9 unique. One, it's optics ready but doesn't require adapter plates unlike other pistols. Instead, it was made to be MRDS ready with a screw pattern compatible with Shield RMSC, Holosun 407K and 507K, Sig Romeo Zero Elite, Trijicon RMRCC, and any other red dot with a similar footprint. And two, it has a multi-tool base plate with a recess designed to hold a multitasker tool's nano-squared tool, which can be used to adjust the MRDS sight and also fit the Vulcan 9's grip screws. The tool snaps in and is retained by the follower spring plate boss. Other features include a grip system which integrates a gas pedal and a fiber optic front and blacked out rear sights that use SIG's P365 dovetail and can lower third co-witness with most optics. With a starting MSRP of $1,200, the Vulcan 9 is a highly appealing option for concealed carry. And that's all I have for you in this video. If you're interested in any other guns announced at SHOT Show 2023, maybe you're looking to buy a full-size handgun, a pistol caliber carbine, or a shotgun for home defense, or maybe you need a boat action, a lever gun, or an AR-15, let us know in the comments. Please like, share, subscribe, and click on the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our new content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.